Hi guys, it's Molly. I am here today to do a reading for, I don't know, let's see. Ooh, Pisces is face up. We have Virgo, Aquarius, and Pisces left. So if you're one of these, pay attention. If you're the one that's picked, really pay attention. I also need to show you what the ring wants you to see today. Okay, ready? Can you see it? Inside the ring is showing the girl flying the kite. The little girl with her bonnet. And the message the ring wants you to know, whoever gets picked, is sometimes you have to remember to fly a kite. You may have to have a blustery day. All right, let's see who this is for. Woo, Aquarius, you just shot right out. This is for you. Aquarius, Aquarius. Mm, okay, you know what this is for? This is for Pisces, Virgo, and Aquarius. Because... This is the age of Aquarius. Okay, because we are starting to get into the age of Aquarius. I'm not quite sure on that, but that's what I hear in my head. So I think we're going to do this. This feels super right. All right. All right. Hi, guys. My name is Molly. I'm a Claire Audient Intuitive Empath. Look at that expanded mind. Uh, and, ooh, I'm already getting messages. Okay, I'm already channeling energy. And let's see where this goes. Uh, if you like what I do, uh, you can join, join and subscribe and all that. <laughs> Hi. Okay, okay. Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, expanded minds. Okay, what's the message to... Our friends here. Whoa, okay. You may start seeing signs from the universe, okay, that keep coming back around and around and again, and you see it, okay. And then the wheel turns, okay. I don't know if I show, did I show? I can't remember. I got no cards around here. When I channel energy, it just all pops on its own. Okay, the bog mummies are rising up. Okay. Okay. Okay, what's, what's after that? Okay. 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 Um, all right. So, um, okay. Ooh, this shot out. Okay, yep. And then look at this bed. That's the end of the message. Okay. The bog mummies are rising up, and now I hear uh, the song Doomtree Beacon. Okay, uh, a song Beacon by Doomtree. Uh, okay, so that is a message for me. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so... We're going to talk about this. This is your entire message right here. No clarification needed, no nothing. All right. So Pisces, Virgo, and Aquarius. You may soon start uh, feeling... Okay, so I, the message that I'm getting for you guys is you or your person may be... Um, Going through, starting, or completing um, an awakening. 
And so an awakening is an actual event. It's something that happens to you. And it can be pretty intense and scary if you don't know what's going on, if it's an intense and a rude awakening. Uh, I will put a uh, link in the, in the comments for that song that's playing in my head right now. There's visual. All of this is also visual clu uh, clues for you. Um, all right. So the awakening triggers, you guys, uh, when you are kind of... Hmm, was different for different people. We'll just put it that way. But when it happens, it will start the, uh, I'm just going to tell you it this way. It sounds very magical and very mystical and allow it to be this way because it'll help you get through the awakening so much uh, easier. So the universe right now has seen you, uh, certain people in this collective uh, that are Aquarians, Pisces, Pi our Pisces friends and our Virgo friends, uh, who struggle with uh, vices, struggle with um, low self-esteem, struggle with third-party situations where your full value uh, isn't appreciated, uh, people take gambles on you, you take gambles on you. Uh, this is all um, a message from spirit along with the fungus. Uh, this is... Um, Spirit has decided when an awakening triggers, it's basically spirit, uh, your spirit guides, uh, source, whatever you want to call it, takes over. It's taken over. You have no choice. It's happening. And so what happens is spirit alchemizes, starts alchemizing your insides to uh, help you release Things that made you feel uh, not so great, makes you feel icky and slinky and gross. Uh, the fungus among us, that is the, uh, what I say when I see this, there's a fungus among us. So spirit has, uh, there is some point in your, there, this is the time where spirit has said enough is enough. Uh, we are taking over and you are having, having an awakening. Now, an awakening can be a very rough process, especially if it's in a rude awakening, because spirit is now releasing the bog bodies, the mummies, the bog mummies. And the bog mummies, uh, sim symbolically for me, are issues that you have... Um, very deep in your emotions and to get to a happier place in your life where you can be the little girl flying the kite again, um, the bog bodies have got to be released. And so you may find yourself uh, lately starting to feel very emotional, starting to reevaluate things, uh, maybe feeling even a little out of control emotionally. You may uh, start seeing, so you may be like seeing signs on number uh, synchronicities. You might see um, like the clock, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, 11, 10, 10, 5, 5, 5. <laughs> like, uh, and then you see it everywhere. Uh, weird little synchronicities that you will resonate with. And what that means is you will feel uh, like a pull. Um, with that sign, and it will be, it will start being repetitive. You'll see it over and over again, and that's just um, signs that the universe. Just take it as signs that the universe is helping you to alchemize. Now, when this happens, you, you guys, you may, um, especially if it's a rude awakening, if if you've been kind of fighting this. It may feel like um, very emotional. And my advice to you is to not fight it. Just cry yourself out if you need to. Let it happen. It's called a purge. It's releasing the emotions. And it has to happen. You can uh, 
Um, oh, I can't remember who said it. I'll figure out who said it, but it was, she had a great uh, phrase. It was like, um, you can sweep out your garage and get all the dust out of your garage. You can conquer all your demons, you know, get all the dust out of your garage. But there still is that residue, that final layer that requires the cry. It requires the hose spraying down the garage. It requires the cry. So if you feel like you need to release emotions, if you feel uh, these emotions coming up out of nowhere where you're like, what the heck? Or uh, some emotion is like straight up slaying you. Um, the bog bud bodies with the throat slit. Okay, so you may ha be having a hard time talking about this. You may be worried people may think you sound weird. Uh, you do because it's a weird situation, but just know it's normal. This is what happens when this happens. Um, <laughs> you just got to find people who understand and you won't sound weird at all. Okay, so uh, the wheel is going to turn after that happens. All right, and then you'll start, you may start going through um, the awakening process to release these um, negativity, this um, rock bottom, this uh, soul rock bottom, if you will. Uh, it's time for you to fly, okay? It's time for you to fly your kite, okay? All right. And then my card for the saxophone is my judgment card. So uh, you may be making a judgment about something. Uh, if it's a, ju a judgment, it could be even just like a judgment of really uh, letting go, letting this ha process happen. Really dive into spiritual awakening information if you can. And... Um, you know, understand that... Uh, at the end, you may feel like a different person, and you are because your bog has released the bodies. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. And uh, you will now be lighter and freer. Okay. So spirit isn't just, um, okay, the levers, okay, the steampunk, okay. Spirit isn't just... Oh, uh, fairy wings and uh, clouds, you guys. Sometimes spirit, especially going through an awakening, awakening can feel um, weird and scary. And uh, it's getting into all the deep chambers of your heart. And your spirit guides, your ancestors are uh, working on you to alchemize you. Just know if you feel out of control, if you feel weird or scary, just just know it's spirit has taken over. Um, now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will sound weird and crazy because uh, it's, a, it's a funky process. But if you... Uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. I hope this, you know, helps you to understand. There is a big visual with that, uh, the song Beacon um, by Doomtree. So I hope that you will watch that video. I'll put it down in the comments. All right. Okay, so that's... <coughs> that's all I got. Ooh. A throat chakra might be clearing right now. My throat closed up. Okay. <clears throat> That's, you're getting work, your throat chakra may be getting worked on right, <clears throat> right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now, uh, you, you may find yourself going way deep into your emotions, really diving super deep. This is spirit helping you. Yes, look at that. It's balancing, balancing the emotions. It's alchemizing on you. It's trying to balance the, you know, the, uh, the yin and the yang energy within you. All right. There has been some deep uh, emotional 
Okay, wounds. Okay, so these are the bog bodies that are rising. Okay, you're going to have some um, things, emotions, things that uh, may have to be looked at or may have been looked at that are starting to rise. The message is to just let to just know that spirit is is with you. Um, your spirit guides are watching over you from all angles. They're guiding you through this. Don't let fear take over. Release whatever uh, negativity and bog bodies you need to release. They're just bones now. Okay. All right. And then we have, okay, look at that. We have two really wise people around you. Uh, these both, uh, or these may be, um, we have two, I don't know what this message is. You will know. There are two wise people. These are people uh, who are in their divine feminine energy. Don't let the, uh, you know, just the gender means nothing with this. So there's two people in the divine feminine energy showing up. These are wise souls. These are kindred souls. These are people who, um, this one may be like the head of an organization. This one speaks their truth. Um, and they are meant to be together. These might be twin flames. Okay, so um, one of the twin flames or both may be going through awakening, uh, an awakening right now. Um, okay, all right, okay, Aquarius, Pisces, and Virgo, all right, let's see what the universe has to say, now, we all have free will. With this, you guys, with an awakening, you do not have free will. It happens to you. There is no choice in it. It is like an event that happens to you. I'll put some information. There's this guy that explains uh, kind of some of the signs really well. So I'll put that. I, this has gone, I've gone through this too, and it's pretty intense if you don't have a guide. So I'm just trying to explain what's happening. Okay, message for Aquarius, Pisces, and Virgo. I'll put some more info down in the comments. All right, you got two. All right, first one. Just remember, I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. Mm-hmm. Look at this owl is waking up. Okay. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Okay. Spirit is taking over. Uh, they're doing whatever it takes to get you closer to consciousness. Uh, when that happens, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. They want you to fly a kite. Look at how pretty that is. You ready to fly your kite? It's happening. All right. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. If you like how I read, hit like and subscribe. You can join the Star Gang. We're just learning life lessons in a cool and uh, unusual way. Uh, just know, my loves, the wheel is turning for you. Things are about to get totally awesome. All right. Peace out. Love ya.